All right, welcome back to the Sugar Cane Rush channel. We're here today to make the best Cuban coffee at home. Why? Because we're normally talking about music. You normally watch the channel to hear the good songs that we make. And I do tutorials uh, how to use the recording board, how to make songs, how to transfer it over to your digital audio workstation. What has all this got to do with that? Well, I'll tell you. You set up a rehearsal, guys show up, they work the night before, they're coming slow, they're trying to set up their pedals, they're trying to plug in their things, they're scrolling through the phone. What do you do? You make them Cuban coffee. You make them a set of Cuban coffee, the rehearsal is gonna go great, trust me, and I'm gonna tell you how to do it. The best Cuban coffee at home. And this is all the things you need to make Cuban coffee. So let's go through it slowly, and uh, I'll try to show you how it's the best way to make it at home, okay? We start with a coffee maker, of course. We got these coffee makers. We got these, these are the Cuban coffee makers, of course. Um, and then we got some of these, all right? Now, you can get any of those. These fancy ones, if you wanna spend the money, go ahead, you wanna get the little steamer, make that steam milk for maybe your latte and all that stuff. No, no, no. This is going to be old school Cuban coffee. So forget about those. I'm not crazy about these either, so I'm going to put them over here. My favorite, the Bialetti coffee maker. These are the best in the market, and I recommend these highly. These work well. This one will make you six cups of coffee. And when I say cups of coffee, those of you that uh, maybe have never had Cuban coffee before, this is a cup of Cuban coffee, it's a small cup, that's all you need, trust me, okay? So this one will make six, the small one will make three, and it's basically, you got the bottom part where you put the water, you got the little filter which goes in here, you put the coffee in the filter, close it up, and you make Cuban coffee. Very easy if you know the secret, and I'm gonna tell you the secret. Also, I'm gonna recommend if you make coffee, if you ever take a road trip, we just took a road trip, um, you get tired driving because you drive a lot of hours, you make the Cuban coffee like I show you, you put it in here, you warm it up with hot water first, then you put it in here, and you're gonna have hot Cuban coffee for your trip. It's gonna pick you up, it's gonna make you drive well. Also, if you need to pick her up, or you have your Cuban coffee, and then your wife will whack you in the head every time you start to doze off. That'll work, it'll keep you going, okay? But trust me, and another thing, disclaimer, before you take all this stuff, check with your doctor. Now, I used to be a doctor in Cuba, but I'm telling you, take my word for it. Check with your doctor, make sure that you're okay to drink this stuff, all right? So we got the coffee makers, and these are Italian coffee makers for those of you fact checker is that I could hear you right now <laughs> typing in there saying, but wait, wait, those are Italian coffee makers. ding a ling a ling you're right. Italian coffee makers, but they make the best Cuban coffee. And since we're talking about Italian coffee makers, I want to shout out to our great worldwide family of musicians that contribute to Sugar King Rush, Paolo, eh, Mauro, and Marcelo who live in Italy and uh, they collaborate with us and you can hear some of our songs together and on the Shuriken Rush uh, page. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're watching this. Make some Cuban coffee in Italy, okay? Tell me about it. All right, what else? We need the pot where you're gonna put the coffee. And we got two of these. This one's for the three, three cups. This one you can use for the six cups and more. These are great. I like these metal ones because and I'll tell you why, because some of you guys out there, you know who you are. You use the glass Pyrex cups to make the uh, magic uh, foam as bonita. No, 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 no. The best ones are these, so stick to these, okay? And I'll tell you why later. So we got this, and with this we're going to make, what I'm going to show you right there, we're going to make that magic foam, the froth, the spumita, and this is what makes the Cuban coffee at home real Cuban coffee at home, okay? Because you can get the foam, if you go to La Carreta, Versailles, you go to some of these restaurants where they make them, yeah, they'll make them pretty good with the foam, but this at home is a way to make the foam and make the coffee taste great. So we got these things. 
What else we need? We need the cups. As you can see, we got all kinds of little cups for making Cuban coffee. And then the next thing in the hardware, we need the scoopers. So we got this one, which is a great scooper. You scoop and you can, if you take the, uh, the filter, you put the coffee in here and then you tap it lightly, as I'll show you later, you'll tap it lightly. It's great, this one works great. And if you want a real fancy one, this one, you know, you notice my pinky going up. This is a nice one. You scoop it in there and then you go and you get great, great results. So you can have this one, you can have this, or you can use the spoon. Some of you guys use the spoon. Don't use the spoon because it's hard to get in. This thing, that's the way to go, all right? So what else we got? I think that's all the hardware. Now we're gonna move to what I call the software, which is the ingredients. And let me move this over here. We start with the coffee, Cuban coffee. There's all kinds of Cuban coffees out there. You can go looking at the market, you can go to Publix, you can get them on Amazon. You have to get the one that's a special blend to make Cuban coffee, okay? And wait, wait, I hear the fact checkers again. <laughs> Might not even be Cuban coffee, maybe it's Colombian coffee. Who knows, I actually looked up in the website, I couldn't find where the coffee comes from. But it's a special blend, dark blend, and they use Arabica. And I didn't know what Arabica was, so I Googled it, you Googled it. It's the finest beans, coffee beans. And they make a special dark blend, very thin, so it's easy for the brewing to go, come through. This is nice, we recommend it. You can try whatever you want, you can try some of these. Go ahead, do it, but I recommend Pilon. Now, you need something to put the coffee in. I got this beautiful jar that my wife got for me, okay? Which is even has these things that you can hold them so you won't drop it. It's very nice. Ooh, beautiful, you can smell the coffee. So I keep the coffee in here. What else you need? You need sugar, okay? We happen to use Organic raw sugar, fancy schmancy. This is really good, good sugar, and it works really well for the foam, as you'll see it later. But you can use any kind of sugar you like, white sugar. Uh, just don't go using sweet and low. Don't go using powdered sugar. Don't go using brown sugar. Use white sugar to make the special, special froth, the foam that makes this coffee really, really good. All right, so. Remind you to please subscribe to the channel, uh, click like, make comments, listen to the music. We got all kinds of music there. I have all kinds of playlists where I've separated the songs into different playlists. You can check them out. I've got good descriptions. Um, while you're drinking your cafecito, Cuban coffee, you can listen to the music and enjoy it. Um, so let's get to it. Now let's go over there and uh, I'm going to show you the details as to how to make this Cuban coffee, all right? Thank you. Okay, here we go. We're now going to make the Cuban coffee, all right? We got everything set up here, ready to go. I'm going to show you how to make the best Cuban coffee at home, delicious, going to give you energy, it's going to be great, all right? We start off with the coffee maker, and we got to put water in it. So the water, if you notice, there's a valve out here. The water goes in the inside all the way just to the edge of the valve. So inside, just to that edge of the valve, that's all the water you need. Anything else is going to cause problem. You're going to get steam coming out of here. So I've pre-measured the water and I'm going to pour the water in. And I don't know if you can see it, how well you can see it, but the water is going to be right to the edge of that valve. That's where the water goes. All right. So once you got that set up, you're ready for step two, which is the coffee. You need to put the coffee in the filter. So got the coffee right here. We'll open it up. Oh man, that coffee smells good. The minute you open that, you can smell it. This is great coffee, and this is going to work out really well. So I like to scoop it. Put it in here and tap it lightly, lightly tap it just to fill up the filter. You want to fill it up all the way to the top. Put a couple of these, lightly tap, lightly tap. 
Be nice, don't be messy, don't spill the coffee all over the place. Your wife is gonna come after you. So, you got her all in here. I like a nice full filter, lightly topped. We're ready to go, clean the edges. You don't want the edges going in there. Drop it in, you're ready there. Now, put away the coffee. And we get the top of the coffee maker. And we screw it on. Now, the good thing about these Violetti's is that you don't need to be a baboon. You know who I'm talking about. And really screw it in. You don't. Know, one nice type, that's it. That's all you need. Then afterwards, when you finish, you're going to clean it up. They come loose easily. Not like if you go crazy and tighten it, you need to call the fire department and get it in because you can't do it. This is the best way. The Violetti's, just give it a little tighten. That's all you need. All right, so we're going to put it. It takes around three and a half to four minutes for the water to boil and come up and make your coffee. So what we do is we open the coffee maker, put the coffee in about maybe a little bit less than high, make sure it's right in the middle. It's gonna to start to heat up. We got four minutes to finish doing the rest of the stuff. Now, the reason I leave the lid open, for those of you that don't know, we need to use the very first few drops that come out and this is super important you can't uh, get distracted talk to your friends get on the phone get, you can't you got to focus because the first few drops that come out you need to put it in the sugar and that's what makes that magic foam okay so we'll keep an eye on it and also remember once it starts coming out you close that lid and don't leave this open you, somebody calls you in the bedroom don't do it take it off the fire if you have to but because this is going to come out it's going to splash all over the place you're going to get burned so be careful and keep an eye on it all right so now we're going to put the sugar like i said before white sugar i like to put for three cups of cuban coffee that this coffee maker makes i like to put four teaspoons of sugar not really full just four teaspoons of sugar so let's do that so there's one Two, three, four. Four teaspoons of sugar. Why? Well, Cuban coffee is meant to be sweet. The difference between espresso and Cuban coffee is the blend, the little froth on top, and the sweetness with the coffee. So you want it to be sobre lo dulce, towards the sweet. Now, I like my taste, the four teaspoons. You can do less, you can do more, it's up to you. Now, the other important thing is the ratio of the first few drops of coffee to come out to the sugar. It's very important that you get it right because if you put too much coffee as we're making this magic potion here, then it's not gonna work. And if it's not gonna work, the coffee's gonna taste okay, but it ain't the same thing. You have to have it just right. For the four teaspoons that I use, my ratio is one teaspoon of coffee into here. And I'll show you in a second. We're gonna wait, pay attention, because the coffee is gonna be coming up, and you'll see the first few drops. Now, as we're waiting here, I gotta remind you that you don't leave it open. Don't talk to nobody, because this thing's gonna splash all over the place, all right? So be careful, and remember, to subscribe to our channel, listen to our music. We got new stuff coming up all the time. I try to put things in every month. We have a large musical family from all over the world. I got musicians from Norway, I got musicians from the UK, musicians from Indonesia, Italy, uh, United States, all over the United States, Florida, Maine, uh, Las Vegas. We got musicians that contribute with us and we make original music and it's interesting, so check it out. I hear already, I don't know if you can hear it, but I hear the coffee starting to bubble. That means that pretty soon, the first few drops of coffee are gonna come out. So you have to pay attention, keep looking at it, because as soon as those drops come out, we're gonna capture them and there they are. Those are the first few drops. Now we close the lid, bring this over, 
and we're gonna fill the teaspoon one teaspoon exactly one teaspoon drop it in and now the most important part we do the Michael Jackson and we're gonna beat it beat it beat that sugar because you're gonna get that special special gel there with the sugar you gotta do like whip it whip it good and let me see it in a few seconds you're gonna get that delicious looking caramel sugar mixture okay and you see the color that golden color that is the secret and it always comes out good if you do that ratio the four to the one now you see the coffee maker steaming all right so after it starts steaming you wait a couple of seconds you let all that water come up then you turn off the stove and you're ready to go and this is the reason why i like the metal pots as opposed to the glass pots to make this thing because what I do is I go very slow and I start to warm up the sugar and warm up the pot. Those glass pots are very cold, very thick. They will cool off your coffee. If you do it slow, the pot gets warmed up, the coffee is boiling, it comes out, you mix it, all right? You want to mix it throughout. You want the foam to go throughout all the coffee. So all the foam comes down. And then what do you do? <laughs> I love to tap it. You hear the pitch go up? All that little foam's coming out and it looks gorgeous. And I'm going to show you. Then you're ready to put it into your Cuban coffee. Take a look at that foam. That is gorgeous. You'll see, I'll put them up also a close up. This is the perfect, perfect Cuban coffee at home. It smells great. It's delicious. Oh, this will pick you up right now. I'm ready for the recording session. I'm telling you. Mm. Delicious. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you could do it. You could do it with a three, three cups, or you could do it with a six. They even sell a 12 cup. So get yourself a coffee maker, make some Cuban coffee, dance a little bit to the Cuban music, work out. Thank you for listening. Remember to subscribe. We love you guys and gals. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.